I forgot to put the products that I used, so these are the products, yeah, with gloves and whatever. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's just get right into it. So, this is bleaching my hair first. We're gonna put the Vaseline on just so it doesn't burn up your skin or anything like that. So, just apply it to the parameter of your hair, just just roll your, your head edge, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're doing our first round of developer. I'm gonna mix the BW2 powder with the toner, but I already had some in a little sachet. So I'm gonna finish using that instead of using the big one. Yeah, that's just me pouring it in. I to make my mixture. Bless you. <laughs> I sneeze. Okay, so I'm just pouring the developer just to proportionalize it. I don't know. I'm just a measure it with my eye. I don't have measurements for this stuff. That shit was hella strong. Had me coughing, sneezing, all of that. Don't put it up close to your face. So I'm just trying to show you the consistency. It was a little too thick. So, oh. Okay, all right. <laughs> Look at us. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit more developer because I don't want it too thick or too runny. So like in between. But I still want it is thick enough so it doesn't run down my neck back, you know. Yeah. Okay, so this is me just putting it on all over my head. You want to get everything. You want to get the front, the side, the back, the middle. I don't know. The back of my head is harder to catch than the front part. I ran out of the thing, so I had to put a little more powder and developer. And I'm sorry I didn't say. I used 50 developer first, and then I used 40 after. I used the stronger one first, and then the weaker one second. Yeah. Just mixing, mixing, mixing. Until I get the consistency I want. Just kind of eyeball it so it's not too thick, not too watery. So yeah, you just want to make sure you get it everywhere. I have two mirrors, one in front of me and one behind me so I can see what I'm doing. And... The back of my hair, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but it's harder to um, bleach or just catch color. I don't know you said that in a proper English. <laughs> but yeah, it's harder for it to like change, I guess. Yeah. So I just want to make sure I get everything on there. I had just went to the barber, so he cut off all my hair at the back which i didn't know was gonna look so black so i'm not happy about that i did try to bleach the black spot but that did not work so i'm just gonna try and grow it back and so not make him cut it off again so yeah just smack that on there everything everywhere just put it everywhere just make sure you <coughs> sorry your whole hair is covered and that product is everywhere on the sides, the back, behind, all of that. So yeah, I'm just finishing whatever I have left. Just put it everywhere. Okay, girl, you're doing too much. Oh, never mind, period. Yay, we about to look good. <laughs> I got bleach on my eyelids, so I'm trying to get that off. So now we're going to cover it with a plastic cap. And if you know about plastic cap, a plastic bag works just as fine. So I'm going to leave that on for about 20 minutes. And this is after the 20 minutes. That's what it's looking like. It's kind of yellowish. And I'm going to wash it with a purple shampoo. Oh, god damn, this is fast. All right, I washed it. <laughs> I washed it and this is the color so we're gonna bleach it again with uh, 
developer 40 volume developer and okay girl shit 40 volume developer on the bleach powder that's what we're gonna do and if anybody's worried about their hair health um this is not the video for you i'm very sorry because i have no hair and i'm taking a lot of risks right now i don't care i'm just at the point in my life where i'm just gonna grow it back i'm just gonna cut it off and grow it back i don't care about the hair that much i don't because i know i can grow it back so i'm taking as many risks as i can with it but honestly my hair doesn't feel damaged it just feels like the texture has loosened up so yeah this is after i bleached it the second time and i'm pretty pleased with the results i'm going in with the toners now this is a completely different day because yeah i was having a lot of cramps so this is like two days after but i would have done it in the same day but do whatever you want anyways yeah i'm gonna take half of one half of the other just pour it and then we're gonna use the developer so toner and developer in this one i'm using wellas something another whatever i'm just showing them and i really remember right now and that shit is strong like that will burn your nose hairs off mm -hmm. just mix it mix it mix it i did pour too much because i barely have hair so it's like yeah you didn't even need that much girl calm down excuse the recalls passing in the background okay yeah so i did add a little bit of 50 volume developer because i seriously needed to get the color i desired that little like whitish platinumish grayish color i really needed that color even though i like this one i really needed it to tone up so I'm just going to apply that all over my head, you know, get everywhere, back, front, in between, yeah. This is after I put on everything. I still have a lot of um, product left, but I'm just slapping it on as much as I can onto my head. And I'm going to cover it with the plastic cap and after rinse it out with the purple shampoo, okay? Okay, I think this is very good. Then I do go ahead and um, treat my hair with that mayonnaise. Because you have to, because this hair is really dry. And this is the color that it came out to. It does look a little pitchy patchy right now. But after I style it, it's good. Okay, that's my hair. That's how it'll look like. 